Needham senior analyst Raji Gill joins us with a buy on the stock, raises his target to 200 today. Uh, I guess, Raji, on, uh, on recovery and gross margins would be a start, right? Yes, definitely on the gross margins. The gross margins were guided to, to 66 percent. Uh, in the quarter, um, the, the company mar margins were, were lower. Uh, they took a big uh, inventory hit, an inventory charge related to data center revenue in China, but that's been cleared out. And so the more important um, focus is on the guidance for gross margins. So they guided it back up to 66 percent. This basically returns their gross margins back to kind of their, their normal levels where they've been operating in the past before this uh, inventory cycle correction, which is around 66 to 67 percent. So that was very important to see. I think secondly, it was solid results and in, in guide in light of kind of several headwinds the company was facing. Obviously, you have the export controls in China that impacted their, their business. You have the crypto overhang. Uh, you have excess inventory in gaming. Um, yet, uh, when you look at all those factors, um, they're still guiding the data center revenue to grow uh, slightly sequentially into the Q4. Gaming um, segment is going to also grow sequentially, um, very, very modestly. Uh, but the, they should have, uh, will be clearing out all the excess inventory in the channel uh, by the uh, end of Q4. So this is going on now for six months where they've been under shipping demand in order to clear out this uh, excess inventory that piled up in, in the gaming segment. So as you look to calendar 23, and then you actually are also going to look to calendar 24 in terms of more of a recovery year, um, we think the company is, is set up uh, better than, than most going into, into next year. Right. Does, um, does the notion that data center reaccelerates, some argue, April quarter, is, is, that, is that one of the more powerful catalysts we have in the year ahead? Well, the, the data center business um, is going through an upgrade cycle to their, their new architecture, the Hopper architecture. That's the H100. Um, we're seeing um, a pretty big uptake uh, with respect to uh, customers adopting H100. That's either um, from verticals, whether it's oil and gas or financial services, hyperscalers, whether that's Meta or, or Microsoft or Amazon. They just recently announced a kind of a multi-year collaboration with Microsoft to build a, a massive AI cloud. That's going to be over a multi-year period, but it's a very big endeavor. Um, so we are seeing adoption of the H100. Um, we also uh, hope to see that gaming uh, starts to rebound off a very weak compare starting in April and then kind of slowly ramping throughout uh, yeah. calendar, calendar 23. But China well, continues to be an issue, and so that's something we've noted in, in the past, and so we've, we've been highlighting that quite frequently. China, as a percentage of overall sales, is in game, in data center, is, is about 25%. That continues to be under pressure. Raji, how confident do you feel in this guide, given where we are in the economic cycle and the amount of uncertainty out there about consumer demand right now, much less in 2023? Because it certainly seems like, yes, inventories are being worked down, but there's a lot of discounting going on, perhaps some demand being pulled forward. And, you know, if the, if the demand doesn't last throughout the holiday season and there's been demand pulled forward, that, that could point to a very different 23 than some of these names are suggesting. Am I overly worried about that here? No, not at all. I mean, these are great questions, John, uh, and, and this is something that um, we've been navigating through this entire year. Um, we're a more cautious on the broader semi-cycle. Um, we have been for the last six months, and we continue to be cautious going into calendar 23.